Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Emily and I wanted to come on here and do like a little favorites video for you guys of just like my current kind of like summer makeup favorites. Um, I haven't really been purchasing a lot of makeup this summer and just for a simple reason it's just because I wanted to kind of use up um, a lot of my makeup and just like use what I have but the inner like makeup lover in me is screaming just to buy like all the new releases and just to like go makeup shopping since I haven't gone in a while and there's just like so many new summer releases out right now so these have been like one some of some of this stuff is new to my collection but some of it I've had for a little bit but this is what I have been loving in the summer so far um, but yeah, I like I said, I want to go makeup shopping um, because I haven't been in a while. And as far as my upload schedule, um, I just wanted to say that I haven't really like been in the mood to push out content and um, make videos for you guys. And I never want to push out content or make videos if I'm not 100% feeling um, up to it. So that's just the reason why I haven't, um, why you haven't seen a video from me in a while. But um, every time I do feel like recording a video, I will just hop on here and start recording for you guys. Um, by the way, my face might look a little bit darker than my chest, but I don't think that is actually the case in real life. I just think it's like the light that is shining on me right now is kind of like making my face look darker than my chest. But I promise like I am the same color all over if, if that was bothering you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just get right into it. So to begin, I have a couple primers that I really wanted to talk about. Um, ones that I have really been loving for the finish that it gives my skin and also for the staying power that it kind of makes my makeup last. So the first one is the Kaja um, Dream Puff Radiant Mousse Primer. This brand, um, Kaja, is actually a Korean brand. I'm going to turn down the light a little bit for you guys. So maybe that's a little bit better. and Maybe you can see me a little bit better. But this is the Kaja brand. And like I said, it's the Dream Puff Radiant Mousse Primer. Um, so I actually didn't uh, see any reviews on this before I bought it. And that's normally how I buy my products is seeing reviews of it on YouTube and just seeing it talked about a lot. Um, but this one in particular, I just thought that the packaging was really intriguing. And for those of you who do not know, Kaja is a Korean brand. And a lot of um, people buy Korean skincare products because if you look at Korean women, their, their skin always looks so youthful. And they really like know what they're talking about. So this is just their primer. Like I said, this is their brand. So they have other products like eyeshadows and other things like that. Um, but yeah, this is the primer and I'm going to actually swatch this and I'm going to actually have you guys look at how this comes out. So I'm going to pump just, I literally barely touched this and you literally get all of that product. It's kind of like, it's kind of, um, a little bit annoying to barely touch the product and then you get all of this. This might be too much for someone's face. But just for me swatching it too, it's a little bit too much. But as you um, blend it in, it gives like this beautiful sheen, uh, brightened look. It, it has definitely has some like shimmer in there. I don't know if you could see that or not. But um, in person, it does look a little bit shimmery. And I think it's awesome that this is like a mousse because it's definitely different. And um, I like it. I don't have any problem with it. I don't like how it pumps up so much product. You're actually supposed to shake it. There's a little bead in here, so you're supposed to shake it too. I also really like the packaging of this. It's kind of like that nudie pink. But as far as the product, I think it's very it's very um, glowy on the skin. It kind of leaves that like radiance underneath your makeup. Um, as far as the shimmer, I can't tell that there's any shimmer on my skin after applying foundation or anything like that. Um, yeah, if you apply foundation, um, on top you really can't tell if there's any shimmer but um if you were just to wear this i think it would still be really beautiful too because of how um glowy it makes your skin look and you really can't see that shimmer on your skin as much as the, if you were to just kind of like swatch it on your hand um but i am loving this for the summer months because it leaves my skin really glowy 
The next primer I have been loving is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. When they say that this is Hydro Grip, they are not kidding. This um, has blue agave extract in it, which is going to make your makeup stay on because of the grip. If you apply this to your face, um, you just have to kind of wait a minute and your face will start to get really really sticky and that's not a bad thing that that actually is what is going to grip your makeup onto your skin so that blue agave extract is going to make for the stickiness and this is a vegan product of course milk makeup is a vegan company and the this also has um cannabis cannaboid i don't really know what it is actually um, but that is going to make for good hydration in this product as well. So I'm actually wearing this primer today and I haven't powdered my skin at all. And it's about maybe 6 o'clock right now. And I put my makeup on around 12. Yeah. So it's been about like 6 hours. And throughout the day you can start to see that... Um, moisture kind of peek through your skin but it really isn't anything too oily it just kind of looks really glowy after setting it with powders it can look matte and it'll keep you matte but you know throughout the day you might have some of your um glow your moisturizing primer peek through or you might have um some natural shine peeking through but i love this um i wear this on days where it's going to be like 80 70 um, 90 degrees out and I put on a full face of makeup with this primer and my makeup does not go anywhere It is so good at gripping your makeup. So I'm really loving this primer The next thing I'm going to get into is foundation. Um in the summer months. I Love a good matte foundation in the winter slash fall months. I love a dewy kind of glowy hydrated look and that is simply because in the summer, my skin is just naturally a little bit oilier, and in the winter, my skin is just a little bit drier. So I like to switch up my foundations for those reasons. And right now, I'm in the mood for a matte foundation. So this one is the Maybelline Up to 24 Hour Foundation. Um, and I love the packaging. It's just like this white cap with like pink writing, and it's just like a really sleek glass bottle. It does have a pump. Um, but this is supposed to be a very full coverage matte foundation. I do find it to be super um, full coverage. Like I have dark pigmentation on my cheeks and it covers that pretty well. I have just like acne scars and it covers it pretty well. Um, but I just picked up this foundation because I did have this um, in a shade lighter for the colder months because I was just trying out new foundations and I really like how this one um, looks on the skin. It's very kind of, it's kind of like a soft matte um, look, but I really love the coverage on this. The finish is really nice as well. I'm actually wearing it today, um, but I do still find that I need to powder during the summer months because like I said, my skin just gets a little bit more oily. But um, yeah, if you have oily skin, I think you would like this. Just kind of keep a powder on hand because I feel like whatever foundation I use, like the if it's going to be super matte, I still need a good powder. Um, and then I have a powder to talk about. This is the Fenty Beauty Banana. Well, this is in the shade Banana. It's the Pro Filter Loose Powder. Mine's super dirty because that's just how makeup gets, gets everywhere and it gets uh, dirty. But beautiful packaging. It's just like this. I don't even know what shape this is, but... Um, yeah, it's really pretty. Um, I use this loose powder to set my concealer underneath my eyes. And I do have a concealer to show you guys, so I'll talk about that next. But um, this is just like really, it's a really nice coverage powder. Um, I take my sponge and I just kind of put some in the lid and take my sponge and kind of bake with this. I don't find that it leaves my under eyes overly dry. I feel like it's a nice hydrated matte finish. Um, it's very smoothing underneath the eyes as well, which is what I love in an under eye powder because I don't like anything that's going to be, um, cakey looking. I like something that's going to be nice and smooth. Um, so this is really, really nice. Like it's really full coverage. You can even use this to set the rest of your face. Um, mine's in the banana shade right now just because I have a little bit of a tan. Sometimes I don't really like to brighten underneath the eyes. So I just like to get something that's going to kind of match my skin color tone. 
my skin tone even though this is a little bit lighter than my skin tone it's not like overly brightening brightening but there are shades like lavender and butter that are going to be more brightening on the skin and then for the concealer that I have been loving I've just been um, using this one because well I picked it up um, out of my collection because it is one that kind of matches my skin a little bit better than my other concealers right now and this is the milk makeup first of all the packaging is so pretty it is just very classic I love it um this is the flex concealer uh and this is in the shade mine is in the shade I think medium um yeah medium and this packaging is pretty cool I like this because if you just have, it's kind of like that squeeze tube, um, but if you have another concealer that looks like this, which is just like a regular tube, with the squeeze tube, I feel like you can get more product out of it when you start to run out um, because you have that ability to squeeze the product up. So I think that's really awesome on the packaging. Um, as far as the concealer, some might think that this concealer would be without trying it would be like a light to medium um coverage however i think that this concealer is a medium to full the reason why i say that i think it might be a light to medium coverage for some of you who might just be looking at it is because milk makeup tends to be like that no makeup makeup brand where they have a lot of cream products um kind of really light on the face so I love this concealer. Like I said, it's like a medium to full. You can really build it up. Um, it's smoothing underneath the eyes. It does a great job at color correcting and it's really good. Um, now I have like a little liquid highlighter um, to show you guys. Now I only apply this to my skin when I want to kind of leave the face powderless but i'll just kind of powder underneath my eyes and like my t-zone and stuff um this is the cover fx custom enhancer drops so this is like a liquid highlighter this is just a mini size i got from sephora but this is just like a liquid highlighter except it literally looks like melted um chrome or just really intense um and it is really intense on the skin and I'm someone who loves an intense highlighter and so that's why I don't really like to use cream products a lot because I feel like those look too natural. However, this Cover FX one, um, this is in the shade Moonlight, is going to give you that really intense um, highlight with still looking pretty natural, so I like that a lot. Now, bronzer. Um, you can't have a Summer Favorites video without a good bronzer, so this is the Fenty Beauty um sun stalker bronzer um mine is in the shade island ting i think that name is really cute but um this is the packaging i'll show you the outside it's so gorgeous reminds me of like a hot desert because it's kind of like it just reminds me of like that aesthetic it's kind of just like a bronzy copper shade um for the packaging and then you open it up and it has fenty beauty um initials pressed into the pan but this is the shade that I got oh my gosh this bronzer is so nice um I have trouble with bronzers nowadays where I feel like I need to apply a cream bronzer underneath because I need that good base where the cream bronzer and the powder on top will just kind of meld and form into each other um however with this fenty beauty one i don't need that cream bronzer because it already just kind of melts into the skin i don't know if you could tell but i'm wearing it right now and it really just it's so smoothing it just kind of just melts and mends into your skin um it's really nice and it does give me like that bronzy sun-kissed look she does have plenty of shades so if you're someone who has deeper skin tone than me or lighter skin tones than me then you will be able to find your shade because she does carry quite a few but i love this bronzer all right and then the next thing i have to show you guys is a fun little product um, this I used a lot in the springtime when I would do like peachy eyes, um, like a really pink cheek. Um, and this is the Tarte Moonwalk Treasure Pot Glitter Gel. First of all, the packaging is like pure glitter on the lid. 
you open it up and the product looks like that. It's like a pure glitter gel. It's so pretty. I'm gonna do a little bit of a swatch so you guys can really see the shift in this glitter. Um, there it is right there. I just did a really tiny swatch. But this is just like your basic thick gel glitter. I'm pretty sure ColourPop sells um, these as well. And I think they're so pretty for like a festival or if you are just wanting to go a little bit extra with your makeup. I think th these are really pretty. And I normally apply mine to like the top of my cheekbone as a nice um, highlight look. And another highlight I have to show you guys is the Kylie Cosmetics. Maybe you guys are wondering what is on my cheeks right now for a highlight. And this is the Kylie Cosmetics Santorini Loose Highlighter in the shade Santorini. Um, it's gorgeous. It's a, it's a loose highlighter. I feel like with loose highlighters, you get so much more payoff. Um, it's the highlighter you want to choose when you really want that out there highlight because whatever brush you're using, you could just kind of spritz it with whatever spray, maybe even water, um, pick some up, um, blend it out in the lid and then apply it to the top of your cheekbone and you're going to get the most intense look ever. I mean, as you can see right now, I mean, the light is shining on it, but I've had people ask me what highlight I'm wearing because it just looks so good. I mean, it looks so um, blinding, I guess. So Kylie Cosmetics Santorini, been loving that. And then I just have one, two, three, four, five, six, six more products. I know it's kind of a long video, but this is, I'm just going to go through this one really quick. This is the Dip Brow Gel from Anastasia. I have been loving this to fill in my brows. I am not wearing it today, but um, I just take a little pencil or angled brush and kind of take whatever is on the applicator and then I fill my brows in just like how I have them filled in right now. And it really does the, does the job. I mean, with a little brow gel, you can make this for a brow gel, which combs through your brows, or you can actually take it and fill it in, fill in your brows with it. So that's awesome. I mean, fill in your brows and then do a little brow gel action through the brows and you're all set to go and it looks really nice. Even this alone, just with you brushing it through the brows is a really nice look. It really gets the brows nice and coated um, and makes them look more full. And then I also have, I've been loving like nudie kind of nothing like it looks like nothing is on my lips for the summertime and this is what I've really been loving this is the flat white by bite beauty in their french pressed lip glosses <sighs> these smell like coffee slash espresso and oh it just smells so good it, it's seriously the best thing ever um this is in the shade friend flat white um which is going to be like the nudist shade nudiest shade um, I'm going to do a little bit of a swatch because this is literally my favorite and I don't want to waste any of it. Um, but there it is right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it really just blanks out the lips, makes them look really glossy. It's um, like a thicker, kind of feels like honey on the lips. It's really nice. Um, and then the next product I have to show you is a new thing to my collection. This is the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo Matte and Shimmer. First of all, look at that packaging. It is so nice. It has makeup on it, of course, but this is the shade that I got. First of all, that is so pretty. Just like that pattern and then just like the matte blush next to it. So this is kind of like your shimmery blush topper and then this is your matte blush right there. This is particularly in the shade Pink Delilah. The name is so cute. Um, yeah, this is gorgeous. Love how it's not too overly pigmented when you first apply it, but it's a really nice buildable blush. This is really pretty for a blush topper, and yeah, it's just monochromatic, so you're, you can create like a little monochromatic blush moment with this. Really gorgeous. Um, and then actually just two more products, or three more products. Um, this these two things are the Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tints. I just recently picked these up. I know I said I wasn't buying any makeup, but these were like the only things I really recently purchased. Um, these are the Lip Tints by Revlon. 
Um, so the first one, I have it in this like really beautiful red shade, and then I have it in like this orangey coral. These are gorgeous for a nude eye, and then you add like a nice little bitten kind of lip um, to your to your lips. It looks really pretty on um just like a nice stain and i got these shades in particular because i love wearing like a pop of color on my lips specifically these colors in the summer and just like a nude eye today i went pretty out there with the eye look but i love it oh and then the shades this um coral one is high end coral and the red one is oh my gosh i can't even read that Crimson Feels. And one more product that I have to show you. This video is 21 minutes long before editing. But this is the uh, Chroma Crystal Top Coat by Natasha Denona. Um, this is seriously so pretty for an all-over lid shade. I'm going to do a swatch. But these are very silky smooth. They kind of, um, there it is right there. I'm going to show you over here yeah it's really pretty just like an all-over lid color um it makes your lid look wet which is kind of a goal in the summertime and um I really like it just to like throw on all over the lids maybe a little bit of bronzer in the crease and you're good to go these are really pretty I have another shade um in these top coats but yeah you can actually use them for top coats too on your eyeshadow maybe like a matte eye and then put this on top it's really pretty and i love it um so that is going to be it for the video um these are i don't know if i'm going to call this my summer favorites but just like makeup i've been loving currently um i kind of want to make the products more summery and add some skincare in it if i want to if I'm going to call this summer favorites. But um, yeah, that is basically all of my current makeup favorites right now. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.